Goose brought me a crate of records to cherry pick through, and uh, I got some nice stuff here to bring home. He's been talking about this for a year. Yeah. It's yeah like, Bro, I got records I want you to look at. I got some stuff I want you to try. And finally, <laughs> he's had a here we are. Cherry pick through. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I so hopefully I'll have some more again next year for you. Let me tell you what, I've had the best hospitality since I've been here. Everyone's been so nice to me, and, and I, I hope when everybody makes the stateside, I can live up to it. Well, of course. Well, we hope so, anyway. Definitely. Take him out with the magic words, brother. Practice and enjoy. Hey, Paul, give us a breakdown of everything that's happened this weekend. Uh, we've all broken down very badly. <laughs> Jonathan's having a breakdown right now. Right. And uh, I think when we all get in there and have a seat, we're all going to break down. Probably won't want to move. Cry. Break down and cry. How about you, Tom? What do you think? Yeah. What do I think? What's happened this weekend? Uh, lots of BPM Big Brother, which is a load of people. We didn't call it Big Brother. What did we call it? The video we diary. It, no, the video di BPM diary. But it's you know it's the same thing. BPM Big Brother diary diary room. And, right. Uh, and that was good because you know. A lot of DJs sitting down talking about the stuff that inspires them, that which nice. is, is a nice thing to hear, isn't it? And what else has been going on? Um, Lots of running Jonathan's around. done a lot of videos, haven't been able to upload them because everybody's been using the internet, so oh, yeah. of course it's running slow. Yeah. Um, you probably didn't so help by streaming video the whole time. Uh, yeah, well, <laughs> one, no, one no, because no, the video stream was through a mobile connection, and that was separate, oh. and that's why that worked. So oh, okay. the video stream worked. Radio streaming unfortunately didn't work right. due to a bit of breakdown of organisation. So a few things we didn't get together, you know, we didn't quite get the timetabling of the whole thing organised properly. First time so for everything. We've learned a lot, big learning yes, curve, yes, but, yes. you know, still, even though I thought it went pretty well. Do you think it went pretty well? I think it went great, but when it comes to the streaming of the radio, you stream radio station, the YouTube DJ radio station streamed the whole of BPM. We've done a great show today. We had some real DJs on and me, which was great. And uh, <laughs> uh, so no problems there because we had a little dongle and it did fantastically work. Sure. But besides that, the best thing was, you know, meeting some of the guys out there that we see their names and they'd come up and say hi and, um, you know, and told us a little bit about themselves. And that was a great thing. So I've got to thank all of you DJs out there. You're means, a pleasure. It means a lot, don't it? It really does, it really does. That was the best thing. And of course, meeting you lovely guys. There's a oh, tear. Thank you. Ah, Jason. Ah. Let's get hamburgers, huh? Uh, we are, we are. We're going to get British ones, which, you know, service station ones. So nice. don't the Royal. Burger King, I believe you call this place. Yeah, that's right. So don't expect too much. <laughs> These guys are being assholes. Probably outside having a cigarette. Ugh. Oh, jeez. Leave me alone with my cigarettes. Oh, jeez. Here we are in uh, back in England. Sounds strange to say that, but we are in England. Yeah, because we were in Wales earlier on. And uh, what I did notice, I was really annoyed with Brian, because he kept on winking at my favourite sheep. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she was hot, man. Yeah, no, she was actually. She is. Checking me out. And uh, possibly in a year's time, she'll be very hot. In little bits in people's freezer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> in chops. <laughs> chops. If you think about it logically, a lot of people now just listen to what's on the radio, and, and they actually think that radio is God, and whatever the people play on the radio is the stuff they should listen to, without opening the mind, going back in time a little bit, and maybe getting a bit of advice from people like us and everyone else, and looking at other styles of music, taking those styles of mu music into consideration, and opening the mind up. I, it's not just you know, that though, it's the, it's the whole culture in it, it's like the mods and the rockers and all that, well, we that's were, gone now isn't it? Yeah. Kids are dressing as their parents now. Well, we, <laughs> no, just, <laughs> no, we were talking about we that were too! Just saying that, yeah, that it's shit. You look at the young girls and they're wearing what their mum would wear. Yeah, it's crazy. You know, they have no style, I was saying, I thought I was getting old for a while with the music and the clothing and then I realised I'm getting bored. Yeah. They're not interesting. It's just a polish. They, they, don't, they don't have their own thing. All the chavs, there's so many chavs now. Yeah. <laughs> that, you know, if they say goth or an emo or something like that, they're, they're straight onto them and they give them a hard time. Because, yeah. you know, they think they're freaks or something. But then it's no fun unless somebody does call you a freak for Yeah, a while. I suppose it is that. That's yeah. the shock value well. part. I don't know, in the States that was always the thing. If you piss somebody off, you were doing something right. But also, also I bet you, if anyone ever watches this now, who's an e emo? I need to say fucking an emu. But it's like, it's like, <laughs> or an emu, yeah. it's like anything. <laughs> How many people, right, who are emos, who don't really want to be one, but they're just an emo because their friends are? Oh, sure, it happens a lot. You we know what call I mean? those the people who can who conform with the nonconformists. Yeah. 
A true nonconformist does not conform with anyone. Precisely. Including yeah, and also, but also someone <laughs> who follows trends is not trendy. A person who yeah. fo follows no trends is trendy. We are in a little shop in Reading. Hello. Doing what you do, man. Hello. You're on. He's only pretending to read, isn't he? He, he is. He can only see the pictures. No, no. <laughs> he's just pretending. <laughs> nice, isn't it? Dear, oh dear. Just go right. I've got that. This is uh, quintessentially British. I oh, know, I've got it. Now you're saying. Oh, yeah. I've already got a uh, bag full of records. Yeah, I have it. I have all the Madonna ones. All the early Madonnas. I got double for those as well. You know that? Chandler you know? Yeah. I've got that as well. Mandel Ballet, right? Yeah. 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 Oh. That's a yeah, I know. Mind you, I'll carry Are we going to London after this? Yeah, if you want. Yeah. I got right. Right. Yeah. This is my friend Nathan. He's coming with us today. How are you feeling? Funky. Funky. Let's get funky with this funky. Alright, yeah. I'm not too impressed with the ceiling. No, yeah, I am I am less than pleased with the ceiling I've got as well. A bad mouse problem. The ceiling is massive but it is uh, it's not lovely. No. No, not it's lovely at all. Keen, at all. You're not keen on it. At all. No, not keen on it at all. We're in Camden town. Camden Lock. With the boys. Everybody's videoing. Shops, food, all kinds of things. Very nice area. Quite a nice area for clothes and. Uh... Jonathan was starting to feel pretty rough. Mm. He needed some fuel. Mr. Health doesn't hang unless he eats. Burns a lot of energy no, no. though, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah. He does absolutely. He hasn't got a lot in reserve. Unlike me, unfortunately, I got. If I didn't eat today, and then up until Christmas, I would st probably still be going. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> well. Anyway, what did you go for in the end? Uh, we're having a curry. It's a Thai Thai curry, Thai, Thai chicken. Oh, okay, Thai curry. You, you yeah. know what it is, supposedly. Yeah. Now, now you, uh, they're big on curry around here. They are, yeah, yeah. I mean, so you got a lot of influences. You got the Thai, Chinese, Indian, Pakistani, Bangladeshi. You know, yeah. keep going, keep going. Nepalese. You don't get a curry in, in uh, where I, well, where I live anyway. You don't get one. It's not so popular. I mean, very popular. They say jokingly, it's probably you know. The most British food there is now. You know, it's probably the most. Eaten. I've gone for the lamb one. In All the right. end. it's a, like a lamb and potato, in, and it's much more like Indian based oh, okay. sort of curry. Okay. Well, I'm going to go with it, and I uh, hope it doesn't uh, do terrible things to my ass. What a rock pub! Nathan, is there some historical significance to this pub? Uh, yeah, this is where Jack the Ripper was born. Right. He was born in um, 1837, I believe. Yeah. And in, uh, several years after the murder. Very spot down there at that corner. Nice. Jack the Ripper was born. He. Um, he did you notice the cutlery as you walked through? Yeah. Very nice. That was the. That's where he got the original knife from. Oh, okay. Right. Now, over the years, the knife has been actually found, but a lot of people don't know this. Oh, right, right. And over the years, like, the blade's been changed uh -huh. when it's worn out because it's been, like, you know, it's, it's actually slick quite a lot. Very nice. Over the years, you know, it's been oh, handed down generation to generation. There's loads of rippers about still in London. Uh -huh. and, uh, and then the handle's been changed uh, about three or four times. Sure. You know? And um, the, the, the blades have just been changed as well, but it's the original knife. So have you ever killed anybody in this bar? Oh yeah, God, yeah, haven't you? Isn't it kind of a, uh, like what you do when you come oh, here? Didn't you know he's a stab someone on the way upstairs? Oh, I missed it. Where's my camera? Oh, just, just watch the blood as you go back down. <laughs> but it's, it's customary in, uh, in London, and in this pub actually, to grab a knife off the side, just in memory of Jack the Ripper. And uh, you know, just, just either, you know, just... Just got some random person. Just, just a little nick. Fine. Right, right. If they die, they die, you know, but it's a bonus if they die. Barn was fun. I'm glad I can uh, throw some light on Jack the Ripper. Thank you. Thank you.